So I look funny today because I put the wrong adapter on my camera, but today I thought of a way to prank a beaver. It's almost sunset now, so I want to get in there and set up this trail cam and get out before it gets dark. Something I haven't had to deal with yet is current. Holy smokes. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're gonna continue on here. Sucks now paddling up river, but it sure is gonna be fun when I go back the other way. You see another foraging channel from a beaver. There's something I've never had to learn to do is um, navigate up a river like this. Stop disturbing the water right here. Let's see if I can get closer to the shore. Whoa! I'm in a spot right here. I'm paddling it. I'm not getting anywhere. Damn it. I'm out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have never paddled in current like this before. This is nuts. What I want to do is learn about how the beavers are modifying this environment and maintaining it. I need to set this up, I was told, in an area like over here where there won't be too much movement and that way we don't get false triggers. What I want to do is disrupt a little bit of his environment but then give him the tools that he needs to fix it. Ready for action. I found some pretty big cat prints in here. Just over here on the other side of this prairie there's like a whole bunch of skeletons and bones. That looks like beaver food, doesn't it? Come on. You know a beaver would want to eat that. I'm actually doing the beaver a favor because it'd probably take him all day to gather what I just grabbed here in a minute. Hopefully this will make him happy. Yeah. I found out the first thing that sucks about this camera is it can't really reframe it because it's here in the post here and then when I open it up, it looks like an old Nintendo. To turn it on, I already got it set to video mode. And we're gonna start this for motion detect. You just push the start button down here and it's set for motion detect. I'm gonna stick these twigs in the side of the mud here so that that beaver has to work for his money here. Not just giving these shoots that I worked so hard for away. This is what his channel looks like. There's usually not this much water in it. All right, so I disturbed his habitat just a little bit. Let's get out of here before we get caught. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've spent enough time on this river that I kind of know where a lot of the snags are. Ah! Yikes! Ah, there's a log below me. Okay, slow down. Oh, that sucks. Oh my gosh. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There's a log in here. Damn it, there's a log right there. Ooh, smokes. There's one right here too. I'm gonna bottom out. Ah, oh, a little bit. I didn't get hung up, thank God. Encountering some currents today is not something I expected at all. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with that paddleboard. Okay, so I'm back and hopefully I look normal today. I gotta feel my ancestors had really worked with the tides with they're bringing the bigger canoes up into here because it's high tide right now and the water level's pretty high and I'm not fighting the current nearly as much as I was yesterday. Looks like uh, my shoots are still there. Nothing triggered the camera last night so what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to try putting something all the way across the, the waterway here and that way the beaver's going to have to take notice of it. Well, I guess you can't get lucky every time. Going on day three. Oh. Kind of hoping I got something on that trail cam. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot easier to get beaver footage. <laughs> I didn't realize the tide had this much influence up here. In case you're wondering what it's like to try to paddle up here at max ebb, this is it. <laughs> no, I think I might cheat and just pack my board around this bend. That current does not look that fun today. Well, I'm taking a break here. Might as well 
talk about something that's been on my mind today and that's the uh, Japanese have a saying called uh, Aikigai that basically means what gets you out of bed in the morning defines your purpose in life. I'm kind of at odds with myself because this project right here really yields the least amount of financial reward but gives me the greatest sense of accomplishment and purpose in life. I like to keep this dream going but at some time I got to get back to reality and get back to work again but it's been really fun exploring this waterway. So I'm gonna keep moving. Found out where the elk are. I don't know if you can see them or not, but <laughs> the bulls came over here to check me out. Oh, I must have paddled right by them. Why are they running that way? They're running toward me. <laughs> That's funny. They should be getting used to me by now. I don't know if there's even an easy way to get across the river here. Hey, how can I keep my nose into the current? Yeah. Whoa, shit. I just got caught on my thing here. Come oh, on, no, I don't want to go in the river. Oh, how would you like to paddle in that? It doesn't look like anything triggered this camera. I might have to do some more testing at home. I guess I'll have to test this on my cat or something. Oh. Shoot. But I'll get dumped. God dang it. Ah, oh, something might have moved here. Oh. Okay, that got my heart moving a little bit. That's the current today. I didn't realize it would be that hard to get uh, beaver footage. I decided to put my trail cam at a location that would be a lot easier for me to get to than have to paddle in for 15 minutes. Hopefully my next video I'll be sharing some beaver footage. <laughs> 